Though actually I'm a bit mean to say it because I'm sure I shock some Germans when I suddenly start talking about guillotines in the middle of fields. This is actually a positive channel, isn't it? Yes, it is. And I've been quite concerned lately seeing all that's been going on. You could be forgiven for thinking it's all going mad over here. But of course it's not. It's just a few things that have been happening one after another and getting a lot of media attention. So I thought I'd show a sign of very normal life. Well, normal for me anyway. And at each performance, I felt really welcome and safe in Germany, despite what I've been hearing about a certain political party gaining votes. Now, maybe that depends on where you go, but certainly where I have been traveling, the Germans make a relaxed and happy atmosphere and everything is fine. People are concerned, which I think is good. So what I thought I'd do, that I'm maybe a bit better at doing than talking about politics, is to just... <gasps> I'm disturbing a sparrow that just had a poo-poo on me. I'm very sorry. Am I disturbing you this morning? We've had all these demonstrations in Germany at the moment and there's a lot of kind of feeling, oh, Germany's really bad and the politics are getting really bad and everybody's revolting, which is quite funny for English speakers, the word, because it means that people are, are rising up and uh, fighting against the regime, but it's got a double meaning. Uh, you, that's one meaning. And the other meaning is revolting is absolutely horrible. Some, if something is revolting, es ist uh, entsetzlich, it's disgusting. And so um, we always make a bit of a joke about the French Revolution that the peasants were revolting and because they didn't wash. Now that has nothing to do with the farmers and whether they are revolting or revolting. So I was just talking about the peasants revolting and I hope this isn't actually a kind of guillotine here in the fields because there is lichen on it. Okay, for those of you who don't know, lichen is the word for this, this kind of plant thing I've forgotten what you call it in German, but that's how we pronounce it where I come from. Some people say Lichen, but we say Leichen. And for those of you who don't speak German, Leichen is the German word for corpse. But today I found myself in the perfect place to show you that also as far as trees and lichen are concerned, there is no need to believe any sensationalism. I was at Schloss Erbhof in Tedinghausen, where they have a tree park. There are over 450 different trees here. It says Arten und Sorten, which I think means species and subspecies. There was a wedding going on at the over 400 year old castle which began life already 800 years ago and found the form we see it in today because of a love story from 1612. It's quite a racy story involving a married lady, Gertrude, 
and a gallant Archbishop, Johann Friedrich, which ended rather tragically. We certainly didn't invent drama in the times we live in. Today it's very peaceful at this beautiful place, which is now being upheld by one of those impressive Vereine clubs, of which I am so fond. So I suppose what I wanted to say is, this might seem like a very boring video this week, but that's because everything is pretty normal still in Germany. There are demonstrations going on, people exercising their wonderful German right to free speech, saying what they want, whatever they want, demonstrating without any fear of anything bad happening to them, any bad repercussions. Germany is still the same wonderful place to live that it's been ever since I got here. And um, yeah, I have nothing sensational to report, except that there are indeed guillotines with Leichen on. So I hope you'll forgive me for uh, maybe a boring video, but maybe it was also just what you needed. I know it was what I needed to just appreciate the peace and freedom that I have in Germany and that I'm sure I'll always have in Germany. I'm really not worried about that at all. So lots of love. I'm in Lastrup. I just had a concert in the building that impressed me so much last time I was here that I made a video about it. I wish you a lovely Sunday evening or whenever you're watching this video. Don't let the world get you down. Certainly don't let the media convince you that that's all that's happening. Because, yeah, that's all the bad sensational stuff that's happening. There's a country full of lovely people here just living their normal lives and enjoying the freedom and peace and beauty and richness and variety that this wonderful country that I now call home has to offer. Bis ganz bald. See you soon.